I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are thinking, well, what are you doing here? You're getting $406 million of ARP funding. Don't bother us. Um, well, as some of you may know, um, we're not allowed to use that money, even though it's been given to us to address the COVID-19 pandemic, um, for our structural issues or to go towards the, the main issue I'm here to address today, which is our long-term pension liabilities. In fact, we're prohibited from using that for our long-term pension liabilities. But even with this money, Milwaukee is at a critical fiscal crossroads. Structural financial issues have put my city in a straitjacket. In our 2021 city budget, we had to reduce the sworn strength of our police department by more than 100 positions, something I'm sure many of you don't like. That is not something I wanted to do. And even with that cut, the police department's personnel costs still climbed. Here's the crisis we face that will come to a head in the, this next biennium. Our pension system, driven by the cost of police and fire personnel pensions, will require an annual $76 million increased contribution in 2023. This is more than double what we are currently contributing to the city pension fund. We have to have the ability to address this structural pension issue. Please, please empower Milwaukee to manage the costs of our public safety pensions and have fair collective bargaining benefits for frontline public safety workers. Fair to police officers, firefighters, and at the same time, fair to taxpayers of the city. Right now, Milwaukee is required to deliver generous pension benefits to public safety employees. Firefighters and police officers make up 43% of our employees while accounting for 79% of our pension costs and 79% of the cost of this increase. Actuarial estimates paint a grim fiscal picture going forward, an unsustainable and unaffordable obligation. 